Well, geezer here. Looks like the weatherman was right. We did get a lot of rain yesterday. Then it turned to freezing rain and we got ice on the trees and on the ground. Then we got a bunch of sleet on top of that. Then we got some snow on top of that. So, it is what it is. But, you can see the ice building on, on the trees. It's only about 25 degrees here now, and that's as high as it's supposed to get today, so I don't guess it's going anywhere. So, if the wind picks up, then I'll probably have some more blowdowns down there, at least big branches. My old pine trees out here are looking like they turned into a geezer themselves. All the branches are drooped down, touching the ground. Even this one over here that I'm going to take down this spring keeps getting the sap all over my trucks. Can't be having that. But, as you can see, we got some ice and the road is not too bad, but it ain't real good either. But, I don't have to go anywhere, so I don't care. But it is what it is. That's a state route for those of you that don't know. But, salt truck goes by here about every hour and a half, two hours, so. Well, it looks like the snow and ice has stopped. So I think we'll take a little walk and see what we got. We'll look off the back deck here first. Yeah, it is a little bit. Looks like we got about an inch of snow on top of the sleet and uh, freezing rain before that. Ain't hardly been any traffic by today out front except for the salt truck. So occasionally, or according to my rain gauge, I'd got about two inches of rain yesterday before it all turned to sleet and snow and whatever. Oh yeller, oh yeller come through the night looking good. Generators running, the power went out at 10.30 last night, still not on. So, we get past the noise here. Gener generators in there. And, I think seen a dog's ready to go for a little walk. We've been in the house about all day. Uh, it looks kind of nice out with all the ice. See there's ice on the trees. I guess my sign's paying dividends today. Kind of slippery out here. Now we'll see how it goes. And you can see out there, it's pretty nice looking, I think. See if I can zoom in. Yeah. I'm still learning all this video stuff, so bear with me. Hopefully, in a few weeks, I'll get better at it. Keep practicing. I guess the problem with that practicing is, if you want to watch the videos, then you got to put up with the junk while I learn. And, being a geezer, you know, I don't know, old geezers don't always learn fast. But, I try. We'll go with the whole thing. As long as you try, that's all that matters. So, but I looked at the thermometer before I come out. It's 24. And it's supposed to be, 25 is supposed to be the high today, so we ain't off of it too far. But, Supposed to get down to near zero tonight with wind chills about minus 10. So, there's no deliveries today. No UPS, no FedEx, no, U, no mail. <clears throat> Apparently no power trucks either to come fix wherever the line's down. Looked on their little app thingy. Said there's only 25 of us in this outage, so that's pretty standard for here. It goes out on the hill going down towards Blue Creek. And since there's not many of us, they're in no rush to get to us. And it's cold, so I suspect all the power employees are sitting at home with power on, they ain't coming out. Oh, pretty quiet. No tracks back there. It don't look like there's been any critters around yet today. It just quit snowing less than an hour ago. 
But it's kind of nice looking back here, really. Ice on the trees. It's really bending some of the trees over though. Probably a good thing it stopped when it did or I'd have several down. The old hunting camp came out of it good, no problems. Uh, look at all the little bushes down there, how they're covered, really covered with ice. Eh. I'm having a hard time seeing my little screen to see what you can see, but I guess I can see. Eh. Looking good. Yeah, the only tracks I'm seeing is seen the dog's tracks. She looks pretty ugly. She's still shedding. Oh, she sheds in the middle of winter. So I think she's a retarded dog. Instead of shedding when it gets warm in the spring, she sheds in the middle of the winter. Maybe if I made her an outside dog instead of an inside dog, she wouldn't shed in the winter. She'd need her fur. Let's have a look over the edge here and see what we got going. What we got going is nothing. All quiet, peaceful. Bunch of blowdown stuff down there. I got to try and get to. I don't know if I'll get to them this year. Maybe next year. Probably should try and get to them. Some of them this year before they start to rot. Yeah. You outdoor guys know what I'm talking about. Kind of nice. Here come the sun peeking out. Holy cow. It'll be like raining out here if it get when it gets above 30 the next time. Green X's mean they're ready to come down. Alright, let's go walk some more. Uh oh. She heard something or smelled something. She's on it. No, nope, she don't care. Oh, gunshot. Neighbors are alive and well. It's the way it goes around here. You go three days and don't hear a gunshot, you start checking with all the neighbors, see if they're all right. Ah, oh, man, it's cold. You know, no matter the weather, though, Rain, snow, ice, cold, super cold, below freezing. If we don't come out, we come out and take our walk every day. Keep the blood circulating. Because <clears throat> even at that, with this, come spring, when I first start back out here working, it takes me about three weeks to get back in shape. I struggled the first couple of weeks. But I just forced myself and pushed through it. And then in about three weeks, I'm good to go. <coughs> Stupid allergies. Cold don't help. <sighs> that tree with the orange band, that's the end of my property. Back. Wait, I'll walk back there. But uh, right over here, last spring, I spent about a month over just over the edge. I got a bunch of good wood out of there. One of them was 36 inches in diameter. But spent about a month there getting them cut up and hauled up over the hill. Yeah, that orange ribbon there, that marks the end of my property. So I got another trail goes down here. I'm gonna walk out here. It's real quiet out here today. That's why you never see no critters because it's usually quiet and they can hear me before I can hear and see them. As you can see, it's a good chunk down there. My first winter here, I drove Old Red down there one day it was kind of nice, and I figured I could get back up. But while I was down there, a little bit of snow came, made the hill slippery, couldn't get back up. Took me a week to get the truck up. Every day I'd go down, take the camera with me. I'd start, sit on the dash, and I'd tell 
If I make it up the hill, you'll see this video. If I don't, you won't. You know, get about halfway and it'd be too slippery. I'd go back down, leave it sit, walk back up. Did that for a week till I got her up here. But I got her up here. Hey, back that way. Looks kind of nice out here, really. Uh, okay. So, since there's no deliveries today, no mail, no UPS, no FedEx, all I really got to do now is come out about 2.30 and fill up the wood boiler. <coughs> I fill the wood boiler about 2.30 every day, and uh, it lasts all night then until about 8.30 the next morning when I come out. So I, uh, I cut my logs 29 inch lengths. The wood boiler will really handle 36 inch pieces of wood. But a wood splitter to split 36 inch logs was not in my budget. The one I got will cut 30 inch, or split 30 inch logs. But what I found was when I cut them at 30 inches, a few would be 30 and a half, or 30 and three quarters, or 31, and it wouldn't fit in the wood splitter. So I'd have to throw them off the side and trim an inch off. So now I measure and cut all my logs at 29 inches. Now it's a little over, it still fits. And then about 2.30 when I come out, I uh, stack up the wood boiler in the back with them 29 inch logs, stack it up just like a stack of firewood. And then throw a few pieces of trash wood scrub, leftover bits and pieces in the front of that, of that pile and go back in the house. Is good all night long. That's good. Even when it's in zero weather, I don't, it'll last all night. But I pack it in pretty tight. So maybe I need to film that, huh? But I, don't, I see some of these guys talking about their outdoor boilers. They got to come out 10, 11 o'clock at night and put wood in it. I don't, that just don't make no sense to me. What's the purpose? You got to come out in the middle of the night and put wood in. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of time, uh, this year so far now, most mornings I come out, well, I won't say most, many mornings I come out and didn't even have to put no wood in it. I guess I get a 24 hour burn because it wasn't cold enough, you know? So I just stir it up a little bit and go back in, do my thing, come out about 2.30 and fill it up. Now this morning it needed some wood. It was pretty cold last night, a little windy. Had to put some wood in this morning. But not so much. But I thought Hawking Hawking Energy is the one that makes my wood boiler. And here, uh, I'm really pleased with it. I've had it almost six years now. Uh, Ah, boy. See, there's a little tree that ice is pulled over. I don't know if he'll go back up or not. If he won't, he'll be firewood. You just see the, just see the house through the trees there, the house roof, woodshed and garage. That down there, and that leads to that trail I showed yesterday where I pulled them logs up last summer. Took quite a, took a couple of weeks to get him up there. It's pretty big. Shoot, it took a week to get them all pulled up to the trail, stacked up at the trail, and then on up. Once I got them all up to the trail, it wasn't so bad. Getting them up to the trail was the pain, the neck part. Yeah. I got a bunch of trees right along this lane I need to get out of here too. Like this whole split one here, I got to get him down in the spring. I don't think he'll last too many more thunderstorms. We got a broken one up there. That is really on Kendra's side, but I may get it. But there's that old trail down there. Once I got him to that trail, it wasn't so bad. But and there's a dead one woodpeckers working on it. Take him out. It's an ash tree. It's got the ash borer in it. It's done. Get it out this spring. Get the full the wood rots. 
Got to get this weighted mess cleaned up here. Let me get up here and turn around for you. It's a big branch broke off there. Fell on this other scrub and getting it all pushed down. Old red will still fit under, but when old red don't want to fit under, I just back up and go faster. It fits under. All right. Getting close now. I can hear the generator. There we go. You can see. See, it looks kind of nice up in there, that ice on the trees and stuff. Might have to walk up there in a couple days and see if I got any new downers up there. Blow downs, ice downs, whatever. Okay. Well, so here we are, back at the homestead. Old red there and old yeller. And, uh, And the geese are here saying, until the next time, see ya.